Hello and welcome back. This is Nom Nom and we are once again in Oxygen Not Included. We are on cycle 80 of this Spit and Shine base for the buff and polish update. Um, yeah, so we have a few projects going on um, and we have a printing pod that needs some attention. I think I finally got my audio issues nailed down and I remember to use my quiet mouse today. So you guys are in for a treat. A lot less click, click, clicky. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take the food as we're down to 8,000 kcals. Um, we do need to transition to some better food. Um, I will probably have some pips dying sooner than later. Um, let's see if we can set up a barbecue forever uh, for once we finally get that available to us. And we'll go ahead and mark off on consumables that they don't eat the meat uh, so that they'll just eat the barbecue. Um, here they're making uh, lice loaf. Um, and I think I can fry that over here, right? Um, no, maybe that's on the grill. I don't know. I can pickle it. Okay, maybe not. All right, so uh, we have our uh, beginnings of our dig going down here. And this is actually going to be where um, I'm going to want to sink my carbon dioxide. And I'm going to put a wood burner uh, to help them with some power generation and possibly uh, sink some of that carbon dioxide with the old carbon skimmer. I uh, haven't decided if we're going to do that yet. Probably want to bottle some of that carbon dioxide um, in the old gas reservoir here for future use in our first rocket. Um, the other thing is we just finished mopping this up. We have a little reservoir of crude oil because this thing for whatever reason always spawns with crude oil. Um, and uh, yeah, we can go ahead and send our first dupe over to the other colony, uh, the other asteroid. I'm going to dig all that up. Um, we'll get rid of that there. And that gets us a little more rust and I think some sulfur maybe. I don't know, rust and some iron. Um, just taking a quick look. Uh, base temperature is looking pretty good thanks to our minus 10 degree brine that we've got circulating through the base. Um, and our water reservoir is pretty full. So I want to go ahead and keep the research going um, so that we keep using up some of that water. Um, but we definitely need to do something about our power because we're running out of power uh, every night cycle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check on research and see what we might want to do here. Um, well, I guess we'll go right into material science. Um, that's the Radbolt one, right? Yeah. Um, where do I want to go into hazard protection? Hmm. Maybe we'll go into hazard protection first. Uh, try and protect our dupes from some of the harsher environments they're going to get into soon. Um, and I still have a dig planned, yeah, up here to get to this um, geyser, whatever that might be. Uh, and I haven't seen any other geysers, I don't think, anywhere on the map. Um, obviously, the water geyser that we need to get into eventually, uh, but I don't see any other vents or geysers that we've uncovered. So uh, we're going to go ahead and let them just uh, work on some basic jobs here while I figure out who I'm going to send over to the other asteroid. Now I think it's going to be Ruby uh, because Ruby's got the lowest skills uh, but we're going to give Ruby some digging um, and then send her over there so he or she so they don't get stressed. Um, so we're going to go do that. Okay, one more thing I need to touch on. Uh, very important. We're rebranding this uh, entire series. So I was calling it the OC Duplicant. Um, but uh, I've decided to call it the Fastidious Dupes. Um, for various reasons, uh, this needed to be rebranded. Uh, primarily because uh, OCD is a real disorder. And I thought it was sort of flippant and insensitive of me to uh, just go ahead and call this the OCD challenge. Um, and we'll go ahead and make sure that they have some stuff to do anyhow um, while I'm sending Ruby over here. So uh, Ruby, go for it. And I'm very sorry because that is going to be uh, an unfortunate time for you over there. Um, so <laughs> here he goes. Are you guys ready for this? Oh, Ruby. Best of luck. Yes, you're being atomized. 
Uh, okay. Whew. And print it out over here. Now, uh, oh, okay. So this is really interesting. Now, we talked about this last time. Um, when I look at this uh, asteroid, it does not, it says um, radioactive crust and metallic caves, but it does not say frozen friend. But there's still a frozen friend. So um, I guess there's always a frozen friend on the asteroid that you can teleport to and then there's a chance on the other asteroids that you can get a frozen friend um so i think i'm gonna go ahead and defrost the frozen friend right away uh just because uh yay bonnie is thawed okay and i'm just curious what bonnie's traits are um ancient knowledge starts with three skill points oh wow i don't think i've ever seen that one um so let's go and look at skills and Bonnie starts with three skill points. Wow. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go right into crop tending, I think, uh, and then carrying for Bonnie. Um, and then we need to dig some stuff out. So go ahead and, I'm actually gonna slow the game down a little bit here because I wanna plan this out. And we've got two colonies going and I, I wanna make sure I notice if somebody has uh, buried themselves or is dying on the other colony. Uh, also taking a look really quick at what achievements we have uh, it looks like we got uh, first teleport of call. Okay, that's a new one. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Um, and I don't know what the other one was that it goes by so fast. I don't even know. It was something over here. Um, eat any cooked meal prepared in electric grill. It's probably that it's not raw. Automated building. It might be automation because I did automate. Uh, if I jump back over to the other colony, I did automate these two incubators. Um, I put cycle sensors on them. They're slightly off. This one's 40 for 20% and this one's 30 for 20%. Uh, and it's just so that um, they don't drain so much electricity, yet they still have time to do the lullaby buff on, on the uh, whatever it is they're ranching. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and dig this out a little bit. Now this is interesting because normally the uh, when I've been playing this game, I start on this asteroid, right? And then I go to the swamp asteroid uh, as the second one all the time. So this is interesting that I'm not dealing with um, all the swampy chaos that, uh, that comes from the normal, what I would consider the normal second asteroid. Um, yeah, that, that's very interesting. Um, Looks like we got the inbound teleporter over here. That's good. I can send stuff over here. And then, oh, there's the outbound one. Wow. And a pre-made coal generator and a bunch of coal over here. So I think I'm going to ladder down here. We'll ladder down to there and then we'll come in like here or something like that. Something like that. Uh, and we can dig that up and dig that up and then give them access to those two rooms. Um, and then this is kind of sweet because this is already going to be built out over here. I'm going to go ahead and use this bedroom uh, that's already made over here. Uh, I'm going to auto harvest all this stuff. Uh, I realize that I'm auto harvesting muckroot. So they will go ahead and dig up that muckroot for food since they have absolutely zero food over here right now. Um, yep, all right, I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit. Lower the medium speed. Uh, I don't really need to go this way for much. Um, and then I kind of want to see what I've got here for algae because uh, I'm guessing algae is going to be the order of the day for oxygen for a little bit. Um, I can go to the star map and see what my options are here. Um, I will have a natural gas geyser and an oil reservoir probably way down at the bottom. That's useless to me. Um, and liquid sulfur geyser is great for food production. Um, if I had any grub fruit, but this map I don't think is going to have any grub fruit. So that sulfur I will have to cool down and ship back to the other colony. Um, oh, it looks like we did start with some nutrient bars. So that's... Oh, Ruby, are you okay? Not sure Ruby's okay. What uh, what happened there? <laughs> okay, Ruby. Uh, okay. Oh, I, I, that's not good. We're going to have a little bit of an accident. Um, so 
Uh, I am going to go into medicine here. Um, uh, plumbing, outhouse. I'm going to put it right there. And we're going to see if we can put walls around it. Like in an emergency situation here. Uh, and I'm going to need a storage bin. We'll put it right there. And we'll priority seven all that. And yeah, they're definitely going to make a mess. So I'm going to have to mop up um, that and then worry about polluted dirt. Um, wow, look at how open that is. Interesting. I don't see anywhere where there's polluted dirt already. So I'm going to have to deal with that. Um, starting out in this base is always a real challenge and like I said I kind of felt bad for the dupes that were gonna have to do it but you know they lucked out uh, they got a barracks right away uh, that actually really improved their chances I am gonna go ahead and take a look at oxygen here um, we're doing pretty good because there was oxalite uh, there still is some oxalite so they're doing okay yeah I knew that was coming yeah, let's at least mop that up before it drains into something we don't want. Uh, of course, then we're going to have to deal with a little bit of polluted oxygen. Alright, we're going to put a door over here now that it's, I guess, not so much of a hurry. We're just going to do this and put the... Uh, it's plumbing, isn't it? Yeah, pitcher pump right there. Now, I don't want them to use that. Um, I don't want them to put dirt in it yet. I need them to finish up this stuff. Uh, I need to give that door a higher priority. Yep. Don't put dirt in there, Bonnie. And then as soon as that door is built, we need to sweep up uh, so we can use that bathroom. And this can hold everything except liquid files. Chicken skills. Okay, we're good. I'm going to pop over to the other base while they're doing that. Um, and that dig down is working out uh, for me so far. Nobody's gotten trapped. Uh, oxygen in the base is not great. Uh, 300 over here. It's pretty decent over here. Uh, but again, I keep running out of power. So my rusty oxidizer is not running all the time. Um, I'm going to priority six these two. Hopefully they will bring some water over here. I could if I've got the... Uh, I do. I have hydroponic tiles. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to replace these with hydroponic tiles. So we'll deconstruct those two. Uh, we'll replace it with hydroponic tiles. But then that means I'm going to need a pump. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't need a pump. I just need to borrow some water from this. Uh, we can put a bridge on there. I guess I'm going to come down here. Uh, over here. And down here. There we go. Dash of salt vine. I have nowhere to put a dash of salt vine. Really? All the all the seeds. Okay. Uh, we have another mess that was made. Oh, you know what? That's the perfect place to make a mess because that's where I'm putting the polluted water anyway. So, good job. I guess I can bump this priority back up so that they put some dirt in there. Uh, so now we can not make any more messes like that. Uh, 
Uh, once they're done building this, I'm going to destroy this ladder and put a uh, mesh tile there and then put the bottle emptier. But I, want, I need them to finish that up. Uh, okay. Slow going over here. Um, at least they're generating power for a change, so I'll take it. Um, so down here on the food front, I need these two hydroponic tiles. We'll build those. I'm going to priority six this build. Like so. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to throw a couple more ladders over here. Um, interesting. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get to that from this side, actually. So we'll go ahead and ladder over this way. Nope, that was the wrong button, if you hadn't guessed it. I guess I don't need those ladders there. I just won't dig that up. Okay, so we have five dupes uh, here and two over here. And still, I think they're doing better in oxygen here than they are on my starter base. Um, it says research complete, um, radiant pipe, we've had that for a while, textile loom, that's good, and colony, I think this is, um, yeah, when you have more than one, it shows them to you when you click on the thing, but it has two alerts, so, uh, we had already looked at those. And there's that other research complete, um, exosuit, atmosuit, pattern, exosuit forge, okay. Um, want to priority six all of this. What do we got going on here? Um, oh, I have an outhouse, but I don't have a wash basin. Uh, that's okay. I don't have access to water yet, so I guess that's that's fine. I bet that's a CO2 geyser. I couldn't be lucky enough for that to be a useful one, could I? Do you guys see this? I see this. We're going, we're going down there. What is that? Uh, abyssalite? I can't dig abyssalite. Okay. So that'll be the next skill for Ruby is super hard digging, which I think, yeah, is abyssalite. So we're going to have to deal with a little bit of food poisoning. Um, I need to sweep up this. Uh, I think I need to make another one of these. And we'll pop back over to the other base. Research is back on the menu. Uh, let's go ahead and take the and and or gates. And they're continuing the dig down, which is which is good. Uh, these trees are finally growing branches, so hopefully my pips won't starve to death. Um, I am getting quite a few pips going here. Uh, they, I was reading up on uh, pips, and when they die, they actually don't give as much. They give, I think, half as much meat as uh, hatches. So uh, hatches are probably uh, preferable for us for um, the feeding. Um, but I also need to do a couple of things uh, for my hatch farmers. Now, hatches will poop out coal, uh, but in order for me to be okay with that on this fastidious challenge, uh, I need to pick that up. Um, and the same goes for these guys up here. Uh, they will poop out um, rooted dirt, I think? Sand, maybe? I don't know. They eat they excrete sand. Yep, they eat polluted dirt and rot. So uh, I need to clean those up, but also, if you notice, I'm not feeding them. So that's not good. So I'm going to go ahead and include a critter feeder uh, on each one of those so we can give them what they need to survive. And let's take a look at what's coming in on the printing pod. 2,000 kilograms of water. I don't need water over here, so I think what I'm actually going to do is build... Um, I think it's in the base, right? Yeah, the mini pod. We're gonna build the mini pod right there. 
and uh, let's copy settings. All right, stop, stop doing all that, <laughs> and prioritize stuff in there, and prioritize that. Okay. Once I get this swept out, um, once I get this swept out, then we can uh, finish that up and get all this polluted water out of here. A little bit of polluted oxygen, not bad. Um, uh, I guess we're also going to need some power over here. Uh, just not much, but a little bit. Um, uh, this is a room, so I can go ahead and put that in there. Uh, the battery, where do I want to put the battery? Hmm, doesn't have to be in a room. Oh, it gets it there. Uh, and the reason I'm doing this is because we're going to put um, the odorizer right there. Hey, look at that. Good job, Bonnie. All right, back over to the other base. Um, okay, so I had that printing pod. I really need them to make this. It requires granite. Do I have any granite on this base? Um, I do, I have 13 tons of granite. Uh, so, I just need them to build that, but it is sleepy time. We're at the bottom of cycle 83. So, uh, you know, it's it's sort of a slower progression uh, on this game, playing it the way I'm playing it. Um, but, you know, I try to do a lot of that sweepy stuff uh, off camera. So, it goes a little faster. All right, I'm going to priority six this dig because I feel like I really need to get some power generation going so that my dupes aren't doing that all day. All right, here we go. The mini pod is in progress. Thank you, Ruby. Job done. Uh, we will go ahead and activate. Maybe. They're all so into sweeping. Okay, uh, we can get rid of this tile. I'm gonna need some more of those. We'll go ahead and put a bunch right here so that they have access to it. Um, I also need to tile this stuff because that's all they do. Please activate the pod. <laughs> or, you know, build wires. Activate the dang pod. I don't know what kind of task that is. Uh, it is toggling. There you go. And there you go, Bonnie. Good job. Maybe, maybe. Have you tried turning it off and back on again? Aha! Excellent. Uh, we will choose a blueprint and we're going to take that water. Alright, now that we have that water, uh, we can put a wash basin in. Hmm, except that I haven't given myself room for a wash basin, have I? I have not. Uh, so, uh, order of the day. I'll go ahead and destroy that. I'll go ahead and leave that a mesh tile. We'll turn that into a mesh tile. We're going to go like that.
Wow. Bonnie, I think you need to work on your construction speed. Maybe that's what you'll do after digging. I'm also running the game slightly slower. I guess I could speed that up. Uh, we'll take a look at the other base. Um, they are they are down here taking care of this. Uh, a little slow. But uh, oxygen is a little bit better. Averaging over 500 now. So I can't complain too much that they're running on the wheel. Um, I'm just using way too much power. That pump is running a lot. Um, well, I was doing a lot of research. Yeah, look at that. Those, those batteries go dead so quickly, though. All right, well, hopefully they'll finish up that digging uh, in the next cycle. All right, I need them to finish this and sweep. I'm also going to give them uh, priority seven just on that bin right there. Uh, just get at least one of those bins done. Where are you going? I have food poisoning all over the base. Yeah, I need to fix this. <laughs> all right, we're going to destroy this. Uh, and we're going to rebuild it right there. Alright, you guys got the digging going on, it's the building we're slow at. Alright, get everything swept up. And then we go into medicine for the old water basin. And we knew that was coming. Hassan. Um, I need this to be dug out by somebody like right now. All right, get out of there, Hassan. Get out of there. Get out of there. All right, I think you made it. Woo! That was really close. All right. Um, I don't think I'll have another problem down here. Uh, but <laughs> but you never know. We'll get rid of that one just to make sure. Okay. Yeah, I knew that was going to be a thing, uh, so I'm glad it didn't kill anybody. Um, utilities, no, plumbing, I need a bottle emptier right there. Go ahead and give that our priority six so they get that thing built and then I can sweep up this polluted water that's over here. Uh, and these, I'm going to copy settings. Alright, looking good. Polluted water. All right, well, that was really the big thing uh, that we wanted to accomplish is to get these guys set up. Uh, they don't have oxygen production yet. Um, I'm probably going to have them... I'll just queue it up now. I'll have them come in over here and dig up a bunch of algae. We can go four high there. We'll just have to do all that so that they can start pumping out oxygen with algae. Right now they've got... Uh, the oxalate that was in here is gone. There's a little bit of oxalate over here. They're going to expose a little bit of oxalate here, uh, but they're going to need to get into algae production here. Uh, algae oxy oxygen production pretty soon. Um, but, hey, they're better off than I thought they were going to be. And over here, um, we're getting this dug out, uh, and then we need to turn it into a room. So. I'm going to go ahead and dig that all the way down. We should have two dupes over here that can dig that. Um, I'll make that six also. 
And it uh, looks like we didn't get it done, but um, we will turn this into our uh, wood burning area uh, on the next episode. I'm gonna open this up also, like so, uh, just so that the carbon dioxide can fall down here a little bit easier. All right, well, uh, second asteroid colonized. That is our big accomplishment for today. Uh, as usual, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Until next time, this is Nom Nom, signing out.